Hey, John Cristani here, and if you are broke and in college, I'm gonna go over five different methods that you can use to make some extra beer money or whatever you wanna use it for. Or if you're just a beginner, I'm gonna go over five different methods you can use to make money. And if you stick around towards the end of this video, I'm actually gonna go over the method that I use to make the most money in college. I tried starting many businesses in college. One business made me roughly five to $10,000 per semester. I'll be breaking that down exactly how I did it and how you can do it at your own college campus towards the end of this video. Stay tuned. We have some exciting stuff to go over. Some people will be able to take this and make some serious money. So excited to show you. Oh man, so I, I, I remember the days when I was in college and if I was walking around with a hundred dollar bill in my wallet, I would have felt so cool. I mean, I never had hundred dollar bills in my wallet when I was in college and now it's almost like it's like funny money. It's just like it's play money right here, making millions of dollars a year. But I'm gonna be showing you a couple different methods that you can make money as a broke college student. I was a broke college student. I started business about when I was a junior in college and I started making quite a bit of money. I started making five to $10,000 per semester doing a couple of these different businesses. I'll break them down and show you towards the end here exactly the business that made me the most money. And that can be duplicated by anybody at any college anywhere in the world if you just apply it. So stay tuned. But the first method I'm gonna talk about is a pretty easy one to do. And it's a, it's a really good way to make a lot of money, which is called drop shipping. So drop shipping is when you purchase a product from a site like Alibaba for cheap, and then you sell it on a site like eBay or Amazon for more than you bought it for. Now you can do this without ever touching the product, without ever handling the product, without having it come to your house. You can do this simply by arbitraging cheaper products from other countries, selling them to people where, who will pay more for them in countries like America or UK or Germany, Australia. Now the second method to make money online is, or, or just make money as a college student is e-commerce. Now e-commerce is you're actually buying the product before before you're shipping it out. So drop shipping is, you know, I'm not gonna go into all the problems with that, but basically there can be quality concerns because you're buying the product after somebody has paid you. So it's really cheap to get started with drop shipping, but you'll probably end up getting a lot of refunds because people don't like to wait, you know, a week or two or three to have their product arrive on their doorstep. With e-commerce, it starts a little more to get started. You're doing stuff like Amazon FBA. Uh, that's the typical thing with e-commerce. So you're buying the products in advance. Now, in my case, I started a um, eBay business in college and I just looked for the best selling products on eBay. And I found a product that I could find a supplier for. I could buy it for cheaper and sell it for more. And I bought a bunch of these products. I didn't have a lot of money, but I did have a couple hundred dollars and I had done pretty good research and analysis to figure out that I believed, and this was back in 2009, I believed very strongly that if I bought this product and I just listed it, I could sell a lot of it. And that's what I did. And I started selling products on um, eBay. I was making a couple hundred dollars a day for a little period of time. I won't go into the issues I ran into in that business, but uh, basically, that is a very good way to make money. So buy products for cheap, sell them for more, and pretty easy. But it, once again, you have to have some money to get started. There's a lot of competitors. They can bring down your margins and stuff like that happens. The next business is pretty interesting. So it's kind of like uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm teaching on YouTube. And from my YouTube channel, I make about $15,000 a month in ad revenue. Now that is a drop in the bucket compared to what my entire business makes. My entire business makes almost a million dollars a month. I'll talk about that actually in number four, but this is teaching online, okay? So you could teach online on YouTube and make money. Now teaching channels like mine, you can basically make a full-time income if you get up to maybe around, you know, let's say an income of $4,000 a month if you, once you reach around 50 to 100,000 subscribers. So once you get up to that 50 to 100,000 subscriber mark, you can start earning real money. You can teach online on YouTube 
or you could also teach online on Udemy. Now, what's great about teaching online is that you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. And if you have a cell phone or any sort of phone camera, that's good enough to film video in. I mean, the cameras on modern day phones are amazing. Now on a site like Udemy, you're actually selling courses. Now, unfortunately, Udemy has a lot of control over how to sell courses, but you will make anywhere from 10 to $100 per student who buys your course through Udemy, and you don't even have to have your own website, so you don't need to know anything about technology, and you can literally teach the stuff that you're already learning in college. Now, the college system is flawed. It makes no sense that you have 100,000 universities around the world all teaching the same subjects when you could just, instead of having 100,000 professors teaching the same thing, you could just have one really interesting, 10 really interesting professors on the internet teaching that subject. The future of education is online, folks. So I'd get on the train. Anything you learn in college, teach it online, okay? You're already learning. Why not just reteach it and be a bit more entertaining be a bit more engaging, make it a bit more simpler for people to understand, and you will do very well. Just be more interesting than your professor, and that isn't hard. If you agree with me, just type in, that ain't hard, because most professors are so boring. They have tenure, they don't care about their job, they've never made any money doing what they teach. Frankly, it's sickening. So just type in, it ain't, you know, it ain't hard, if you're interested in teaching online. Now the next method to make money online is, or just make money in college, is affiliate marketing. If you are interested in learning more about be, doing affiliate marketing, make sure you uh, check out my free traffic methods playlist. I also gonna be showing up a playlist next of like how to get started in affiliate marketing. I have a couple playlists about affiliate marketing. I've been doing affiliate marketing for almost 10 years now. So I started early on. But in college, I actually didn't make any money doing affiliate marketing, I tried. And what's funny is I was, I was doing all the right things. I joined CPA networks, which at the time were the most profitable ways to make money. I started doing Facebook ads 10 years ago, but I just never got it working because I forgot that I needed to use pre-sell pages on ads to make them competitive at least for CPA products, right? Everything's kind of specific, but I was right there. I could have been a millionaire before I was even 20, but I just, you know, I, I messed up on one, one little thing. Affiliate marketing is competitive, but it's also a very unsaturated area, so you can learn a lot from subscribing to my channel. If you wanna learn more about how to do affiliate marketing, you can get started for nothing. I teach a lot about that, so subscribe to my channel and check it out if you wanna see more about that. So what did I do to earn five to $10,000 a semester? What did I do? And it was probably more than that actually. Now what I did was I did bare bones marketing. No internet, nothing to do with the internet. I simply took good notes really is what I did. I took great notes in college and I sold them to the next year's class. I sold my class notes because they were the best. I typed them up and I'll give people a PDF. But how did I get people interested in buying my class notes, you might ask? Now, what I did was I put up flyers. I would write a headline, I'd write a subheadline, I had a email address, and then what I did was I had tear tabs, and these were tabs where people could actually contact me. And this is how I first started marketing. This sort of flyer, and this was my first foray into marketing, and what I did was I put up flyers around campus saying that I had the class notes to their particular class. At first, I just put them all around campus because I didn't know how to target, but once I started getting smart to how to market, I started targeting specific classes. If they were business classes like accounting or finance or management, I would actually put up these flyers around the business school, and I would say, I have all the class notes and all the sample answers to this sort of class. And I got very specific. I tried out a lot of different headlines. At first I said I have all the answers. I have most of the answers to a lot of classes. That's kind of, that was what the marketing said. And I said, contact me if you wanna see if I have class notes for your class. And that didn't work at all. It was way too non-specific. But as I moved along and got smart, I started to realize that I had to name out a specific class. I would say FIN 303, I have all the class notes and sample quizzes for and I'd put up a flyer that said that, but even that didn't work. Now college students are picky and they don't have a lot of money and they're very skeptical. What I had to do was I put up a flyer that said B plus or better guaranteed 
in FIN 303 or your money back. That got their attention. And what I started doing was I started realizing that it, the, these flyers were a little bit too plain Jane and that nobody wanted to be the first person to tear a tab. What I would do is I'd fluff the tabs a little bit and I'd tear off the first two tabs myself. I'd throw them around and that way it seemed like other people had taken a tab. So once I had taken the first tab or two, people would take the rest of the tabs because college students are very, you know, emotionally based thinkers. And I'd put these flyers up around the classroom. When I got really smart, I would put up, I would say I have all the class notes to Management 101 and I'd put it up outside of the management classes. That worked very well. So I had a lot of students contacting me to purchase my class notes. I would put an email address, just kind of an anonymous email address on these tabs. Students would contact me, mainly international students that were not from America. White people don't like buying class notes because they have this guilt. It goes back to kind of like this Western idea of uh, authorship, you know, individualism. So um, not gonna go too into that, but Eastern thought is more kind of communal and it's, not, it's more about the result, not about the process. But basically my clientele was Middle Eastern and Asian students, non-white students for whatever reason. Over the years, I had hundreds of students, only one white person. And I sold the class notes and I sold a lot of them. I would sell them for $400 a pop. I'd sell tutoring services. That's how I made five to $10,000 a semester, pure profit, because it cost me nothing to give somebody class notes that were on a USB drive. It just cost me the cost of the USB drive, which was $5. That is my story of how I was able to make a lot of money during college, and you can too. So there's a lot of ways to do this. Check it out and let me know in the comments, what is your favorite method to make money in college? Drop shipping, e-commerce, teaching online, affiliate marketing, or selling class notes like I did back in the day. And also, if you are in college, let me know what college you actually go to. I'd, I'd be interested to know what college you go to in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more income methods to make money on the side or even replace your full-time income. And as always, take back control of your life, be free, quit your job, don't listen to what the fake news media says, subscribe to my channel, join the Money Club, and looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Talk to you soon.